What's happening troops? Uh, something different today. Just like to take you along fishing with me. Uh, show you recognise the background. I'm going to be fishing the dawn today on uh, the centre pin rod. Nice and easy. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can catch some fish. You guys can uh, enjoy a bit of banter and yeah, see you down there. Half the battle is getting down to this spot. This is fun. Climb away through these trees. See what happens. Yeah. Get in there. Whew. These flies have had a good time. Made it. Famous Dawn. Fourteen foot set up on a rod. Three little maggots. Box of maggots down here, and I'm looking to cast the rod. So just off back it out into the eddy behind the bushes, and we'll see what happens. This is what I do in my spare time. Gets me out of the house. You know, gets me away from the stress of football. And yeah, I just like to, you know, be in the outdoors and be outside, really. Um, actually, fishing a little bit deeper and shallow that up. And the good thing about these floats is you can move them up and down the line, which is always, always handy. And this is usually where the grayling like to hang out. So I always chuck a couple of maggots in every now and again, keep everything interested. Yeah, like I was saying, I just like to get out of the house and everyone has their own hobbies. I just like to come out and fish, so it's nice to have some company every now and again. There we are. Oh, we lost another one. There's a nice grill in there that I want to catch. Maggots going in. I'm going to let it trickle past the end of that, sort of where the end of the foam ends. Because usually foam equals food. There we are. What have we got here? What have we got here? Fighting like a grayling. It's fighting like a grayling. Oh, it's not a bad one as well. Here we are. There we go. Oh, it's a lovely grayling. Get our net out at the ready. 
try and get out of that main current because that's a problem. There we are, we'll soften a bit. See the rod to the high, let's swim into the net. There we are. Nice grill. Get in the net. And there we have it. First fish of Calm's YouTube career. Take over to this. Calm a bit of water so you guys can have a proper look. And here we have it. A Dawn Grayling. There we have a lovely grayling from the dawn. It's a male, I think. You can tell by the dorsal fin. And uh, yeah, this fish can be quite funny going back in the water. Um, especially with it being summer and it being so hot. So I'm going to give him a little minute to chill out. And uh, we'll put we'll some fans, as you can see. And uh, yeah, caught that fish quite quickly actually. So. Hopefully his mates are going to change my maggots, but I'm going to keep them on, see what they've got for me. Up a few more maggots in the swim, get everyone excited, and we'll go again. Same spot, Let's see what we can have a look at here. A couple of maggots every now and again. You're fishing your area. You see another fish move there. There we are. That's a better one. That's a better fish. Might even be the same one. Hope you guys can see that. Oh, it's a maggot. <laughs> Oh, it's bigger. Stump me. Nice little grey one again. Another male by the looks of it. Let me scoop them in. Skidoosh. I'll do a quicker release on this guy. This is only little. You've all seen the grey one before. Run their course this time. So let's see what combination we can go for here. A couple of nice ones. Nice red one. Yeah, so basically what I'm using here is a sort of mix red and white maggots. Just a pound of maggots, nothing expensive. And um, they're not the nicest things to hold in the world, but catch your fish. Yeah, the grayling tend to prefer the the very end of the rough stuff. So once you get out of this, the sort of edge of the side of the water, that's where the grayling like to live. Right about there. There you are. What is this? Is this a brownie? It is. No, oh, we've lost it. We've lost it. Stole my maggots. Now we'll have to load up on the maggots again. I think that might have been a brown trout actually, which would have been nice for the camera, but not to be, so we'll have to get a couple of red ones back on there. They seem to like the red ones. Didn't pick that fish properly, which is... I've got two. There's Liam Palmer up there. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, yeah, caught two already, Liam, actually. Give me five. Let's see if I can show off and catch a fish on camera for him. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we've lost another one right in the right in the good bit as well. So the dark. I'm scared of the dark. Oh, 
Going up to my spuds. Ooh, it's a bit deeper than I thought. There's a nice fish coming up down there, but I can't really get there. There's a few traffic cones in here. Oof. Well, that's scary. A bag. Oof. Let's go to the shell. Let me get this bit. Things tickle my legs. I don't like it. Right, that fish is annoying me. I'm going to catch it. A little flick downstream. Definitely catching that fish. I'll just keep it there. I think I might have a wee hole in my waders, which isn't which isn't great. Also, if anyone's ever going to watch this and know anyone's got any any questions, feel free. I'll uh, I go fishing all the time, so I might make a little. Here we are. What have we got? What have we got? It better not be a grey one again. I want a bit of content. It's a grey one, and it's a small one at that. There we are. In you come, son. In you come. Boom. We have another one. Um, this one's probably the smallest of the three, actually. Yeah, let's have a look at it. A lot of energy, the boy. A lot of energy. So here you are, there's a nice grill on for you. Slip them back in. And uh, what's he done to my hook here? Yeah. Looks on the right go. So yeah, number three, the hat trick. I guess we go again, because I want to get that trout that's moving further down. Clip my net back on. So there is fish down here. This is a bit of always been scared to fishing. Especially when it gets a bit rainy in this. <laughs> uh, water level comes up. Ooh! Yeah, when the water level comes up in here. Yeah, there's all sorts of floating down this river. There we are, that's a trout. It's got to be. Fighting like a trout. It's got to be. Come on! What is that? It's a trout for the camera, a tiny brownie, but a brownie nonetheless. We'll have a little look at this guy. Lovely colours. We'll have a little look at him. Get the hook out of his mouth first. Perfect. Let's take him over to the side and have a little look. So everyone can have a. Have a see the trout from the dawn. Oh, the big spider web there. Yeah. Let me get my tweezers out, my uh, discorders out. So I can get this plan hooked. So here we are. A little bit wrapped up. Oh, is it slimy on? I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. What do you get your discorders on the hook? Have a little pool. Skidoosh. I like to always keep my uh, my fish in the water, especially at this time of the year with it being a bit hot and not very, well, they say it's not very fair. I mean, putting a hook in a fish's mouth isn't very fair, but they uh, don't do well with the uh, oxygen levels in the water, especially around this time of the year. So, there you go. Uh, lovely brown trout. Ooh. Look at my face. Well, uh, stick them in.
troops here. Yeah. I think I've made it as far as I can go. It's a bit horrible on the foot, so hope you all enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the video. Something different, uh, a day in the life of me. Um, yeah, any questions? Any anything you want to talk about in the next video? Just let me know, and I'll uh, I'll give it a go. All the best.